Hello, this is a video for my friends at Science or GTFO to demonstrate a kinesthetic learning activity I do with my students to help them understand the comparisons and contrasts of mitosis and meiosis. Uh, I do a little finger activity. The um, way I started off is by saying that uh, you inherit two of every gene from your parents, one from mom and one from dad. Uh, we call this a homologous pair of chromosomes. In this case, we'll just pretend this is chromosome number one. Um, and the first thing that happens in interphase is that your all your DNA is synthesized. You replicate your DNA. So now we have uh, two copies of each chromosome. Um, and these are called chromatids. So you started with two chromosomes, one from mom, one from dad, and now you have two chromosomes, each with two chromatids. Um, now in mitosis, this is the process of making new cells uh, for growth and reproduction of uh, asexual reproducing organisms, um, and also growth and repair of uh, cells in uh, sexually reproducing organisms. So in this case we're going to wind up with the same number of chromosomes in each cell when we're done. So after these uh, chromosomes have replicated and we have our chromatids, in mitosis the only thing we need to do is separate the chromatids from each other and then we'll have one of each in each cell. So the way this happens is that they line up down the middle of the cell and one of each chromatid is going to be separated uh, into each cell. So now if you look at the cell on the left, you've got one of each chromatid, and the cell on the right, you've got one of each chromatid, except once we've separated these, they're now called chromosomes again. So each cell, the original cell started with two chromosomes, and each cell now has two chromosomes, one of each from each parent. So that's mitosis. Um, meiosis is the production of sex cells in um, sexually reproducing organisms. We call those gametes. Um, it's going to start off the same way. We've got a homologous pair of chromosomes. So if this is guys, these are uh, cells in your testes and ladies, these are cells in your ovaries. Or this could be cells in um, pollen producing cells in flowers, uh, male, that's the male sex cell. Um, so what we're going to do here is take the homologous pair and we still have to start off in interphase with a replication of the DNA. So we've got our, uh, our, our two chromosomes make four chromatids again, except this time we want to wind up with half as many chromosomes as when we started. So what we're going to do is we need to separate this pair of chromosomes from each other. We need to separate the DNA that mom gave us and the DNA that dad gave us and that was what Mendel called segregation. Segregation of those um, alleles, the different versions of the genes on those chromosomes. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is instead of lining them up down the middle the way we did in mitosis, they're going to actually pair up together in the middle like this. And what happens here is there's a little bit of transfer of DNA of the two chromatids in the middle. Um, they call crossing over, they swap a little bit of DNA there. Um, and, that, and then what happens is, in the first division, the homologous pair of chromosomes actually separates from each other. So now the DNA that mom gave you and the DNA that dad gave you are in separate cells. Each hand here represents a separate cell. But there's still copies of each chromosome that mom and dad gave you. There's still these chromatids. So what happens in meiosis is that there is a second division. And those chromatids, just like in the division of mitosis, those chromatids separate from each other. And now we get four individual cells. Each one has one chromosome instead of two. And each one has a unique bit of DNA to it. Uh, in guys, this would be four different sperm cells or a uh, plant for different pollen grains um, and in ladies you actually only wind up with one of these becoming an actual uh, gamete we call them a sex cell because the other three be 
uh, don't get all the cytoplasm and organelles and whatnot. They become what are called polar bodies. So you only have one mature egg out of this four. But each one's uniquely different, and that is one of the hugest, uh, one of the biggest inventions of, of life was sexual reproduction because we got so much variation out of that. So that's the difference between mitosis and meiosis. I'll go through each one again really quick for you. Um, mitosis, we're going to copy that DNA and in interphase. Uh, we're going to bring them together, line them up down the middle, and separate those sister chromatids, two separate cells, with uh, the exact same sets of DNA. In meiosis, we're going to copy that DNA again. We're going to bring those homologous pairs together in the middle, do a little crossing over, swapping DNA, separate the homologous pairs, and in the second division, separate the sister chromatids. I hope you enjoyed learning about mitosis and meiosis.